Hello, welcome to John B. RD Research Desk. Today we're going to be talking about how to write a business template and the different types of business templates. Business plans help you run your business. A good business plan guides you through each stage in starting and managing your business. You'll use your business plan as a roadmap for how to structure your and run and grow your new business. It's a way to think through the key elements of your business. Business plans can help you get funding and bring a new business partner. Investors want to feel confident they'll see a return in their investment. Your business plan is the tool you'll use to convince people that working with you or investing in your company is a great is a smart choice. Pick a business plan format that works for you. There's no right or wrong way to write a business plan. What's important is that your plan meets your needs. Most business plans fall into one of two common categories, traditional or lean startup. Traditional business plans are more common. Use the standard structure and encourage you to go into detail in each section. They tend to require more work up front and can be dozens of pages long. Lean startup business plans are less common but still use the standard structure. They focus on summarizing only the most important points of the key elements of your plan. They can take as little as one hour to make and are typically only one page. A traditional business plan. This type of plan is very detailed, takes more time to write, and is comprehensive. Lenders and investors commonly request this plan. A lean startup plan. This type of plan is high level focused, fast to write, and contains key elements only. Some lenders and investors may ask for more information. Traditional business plan format. You might prefer a traditional plan format if you are very detailed oriented want a comprehensive plan or plan to request financing from traditional sources. When you write your business plan, you don't have to stick to the exact business plan outline. Instead, use the sections to make the most sense for your business and your needs. Traditional business plans use some combined combination of these nine sections. Exclusive summary. Briefly tell your readers what your company is and why it will be successful. Include your mission statement, your product and services, and basic information about your company leadership team, employees, and location. You should also include financial information and high-level growth plans if you plan to ask for financing. Your company description. Use your company description to provide details and information about your company. Go into detail about the problems your company, your business, solves. Be specific and list out the customers, organization, and business your company plans to serve. Explain the competitive advantage that will make your business a success as their experts on your team. Have you found the perfect location for your store? Your company description is a place to boast about your strengths. Market and analysis. You'll need a good understanding of your industry outlook and target market. Competitive research will show you what other businesses are doing and what their strengths are. In your market research, look for trends and themes. What do successful competitors do? Why does it work? And can you do it better? Now is the time to answer these questions. Organization and management. Tell your readers how your company will be structured and who will run it. Describe the legal structure of your business. State whether you have or intended to incorporate your business as a C-Corp or an S-Corporation. Form a general or limited partnership. Or if you are a sole proprietorship or a limited liability company known as LLC, use an organizational chart to lay out who's in charge of what in your company. Show how each person's unique experience will contribute to the success of your venture. 
consider including resumes and CVs to, of key members of your team. Service and product line. Describe what you sell or what your services will, will you offer. Explain how it benefits your customers and what the product life cycle looks like. Share your plans or intellectual property like copyright or patent filings. If you are doing research and development for your service or products, explain it in detail. Marketing and sales. There is no single way to approach a marketing strategy. Your strategy should evolve and change to fit your unique needs. Your goal in this section is to describe how you'll attract and retain customers. You'll also describe how a sale will actually happen. You'll refer, refer to this section later when you make financial projections. So make sure to thoroughly describe your complete marketing and sales strategies. Funding request. If you are asking for funding, this is where you'll outline your funding requirements. Your goal is to thoroughly explain how much funding you'll need over the next five years and what you'll use it for. Specific, specify whether you want debt or equity, the terms you'd like to apply, and the length of time your request will cover. Give a detailed description of how you'll use your funds. Specify if you your needs funds to buy ex equipment or materials, pay salaries, or cover specific bills until revenue increases. Always include the description of your future strategic financial plans, like paying off debt or selling your business. Financial projections. Supplement your funding request with financial projections. Your goal is to convince the reader that your business is stable and will be a financial success. If your business is already established, include income statements, balance sheets, and cash flow statements. For the last three to five years, if you have other collateral you could put against a loan, make sure to list it now. Provide a prospective financial outlook for the next five years. Include forecast income statements, balance sheets, cash flow statements, and capital expenditure budgets. For the first year, be even more specific and use quarterly or monthly projections. Make sure to clearly explain your projections and make them to your funding requests. This is a great place to use graphs and charts to tell the financial story of your business. Appendix. Use your appendix to provide supporting documents and other materials where specially requested common items in to include a credit history, resume, product pictures, letters, or references, license, permits, patents, legal documents, and other contracts. Example traditional business plan. Before you write your business plan, read the following example of business plans written by a fictional business owner. Rebecca owns a consulting firm, and Andrew owns a toy company. Now for the Lean Startup Format, you might prefer a Lean Startup Format if you want to explain to start your business quickly. Your business is relatively simple, or you plan to regularly change and refine your business plan. A Lean Startup Format are charts that use only a handful of elements to describe your company's value positions, infrastructure, customers, and finance. They usually for visualizing trade-offs and fundamental facts about your company. There are different ways to develop a lean startup template. You can search the web to find free templates to build your business plan. We discussed nine components of the model business plan here. Key partnerships. Note the other businesses or services you'll work with to run your business. Think about suppliers, manufacturers, subcontractors, and simple strategic partners. Key activities. Listen, list the way, ways your business will gain a competitive advantage. Highlight things like selling direct to customers or using technology to tap into the sharing economy. 
key resources. List any resources you'll leverage to create value for your customers. Your most important asset could include staff capital or intellectual properties. Don't forget to leverage business resources that might be available to women, veterans, Native Americans, and hub zone businesses. Value position. Make a clear and compelling statement about the unique value of your company brings to the market. Customer relationships. Describe how customers will interact with your business. Is it automated or personal? In person or online? Think through the customer experience from start to finish. Customer segments. Be specific when you name your target market. Your business won't be for everybody, so it's important to have a clear sense of whom your business will serve. Channels. List the most important ways you'll talk to your customers. Most businesses use a mix of channels and optimize them over time. Cost structure. Will your company focus on reducing costs or maximizing value? Define your strategy, then list the most significant costs you'll face pursuing it. Revenue streams. Explain how your company will actually make money. Some examples are direct sales, membership fees, and selling advertising space. If your company has multiple revenue streams, list them all. Example, lean business plan. Before you're writing your business plan, read this example business plan written by a fictional business owner, Andrew, who owns a toy company. So I will give you the link to the sba.gov slash business guide plan. And I will also be giving you a link to B plan. Now, particularly, I would actually advise looking at the B plan website because B plan actually gives you a better understanding of each category. And they actually have examples of each business that's out there. And, no, and you can actually work with them to help write your business plan. And they got a lot of great valuable information as well. Um, one of the examples I was looking at was jewelry business plan. I would look at the diamond retailer business plan and you can look at how it was written and it gives you the perfect idea of how to write your business plan. But they have uh, quite a few of them. You can go, they have the art store business plans, health product business plans, book store business plans, home and garden retail business plans, car dealership business plans, clothing accessory retail business plans. And it's, it's not just one, it's actually a lot of them. Like say the clothing and accessory retail business plans, bridal gown shop, clothing e-commerce site, clothing retail, custom quilt artist, specialty clothing, family clothing, lingerie retail, lingerie shop, maternity clothing business plans, women's banquet shoe store business plans, women's clothing banquet business plan women's shoe store business plan. So it, they'll give you a list of quite a few of them to pick from. So it really helps dim down your research. Now with the SBA.gov one, they also got to calculate your startup costs. So there's actually tools that you could use. They even have the fund your business tab. So there's a, there's a lot of helpful things here that help you get started. So I hope this, you found this video valuable information. If you did, please be sure to give a like, share, and subscribe as it will help me out with my YouTube algorithm. You may have noticed I'm a new content creator on YouTube. So I would gladly appreciate 
the support. I'd like to thank you in advance for watching the full video. And I'll see you next time.